Tonight, Midnight Blue is at the premiere of a new film called Deep Rub, starring Desiree Cousteau. And I'm here talking with Desiree about her new film and about her career, and about the rumors that I've heard that this is perhaps to be her last film. Right. That's correct, Susan. Well, you've had a lot of success in the past year in sex films. What's making you stop at this point? I'm just... Um I feel overexposed, maybe that's it, and, I f and I'm just kind of disoriented by my success, really, and I'd like, to, I'd like a rest from doing them. So you're not necessarily retiring forever? Uh, maybe. I may be. This may be. This may be the last one that you see of me, I hope. It's very difficult, I know, to leave the business, but I intend to try it because I'm married now, and I'm very happily married. So, Was it... The sex itself that bothered you, or the fact that you became so well known so quickly? Both, both things. I just feel like too many people knew me, and I was knowing too many people, and having contact, intimate contact with so many different people. And I, I love, I love my fans, and I love the success. But all in all, it's just been very disorienting to me. So I'd like, I'd like a, a retirement. Was it having to have sex with so many different people? Uh, no, that wasn't it necessarily, that there were so many different people, but just the, I was on camera so much, all just being filmed day after day, mm -hmm. and I was doing so many films back to back, and it just really, it just became too much. Well, did me. you enjoy it? Boring, because I, I love sucking and fucking and, and sex, but I just feel like I need to, uh, to get away from the movies, mm -hmm. doing them. So at first when you started doing films, you enjoyed the sex itself? Oh, I love sex, sure. That's great. Was there any particular kind of sex that you enjoyed more than any other kind? Uh, I like doggy position. <laughs> <laughs> so I can play with myself. <laughs> uh -huh. Was there anything that they asked you to do ever that was, you, where you said, no, this is too kinky, I'm not going to do it? I don't do anal sex, mm -hmm. and I always say no to that. And so that's one of, the things that, one of the main things that I don't do. And of course, animals are a no-no. <laughs> What about S&M scenes? Did you do any of those? Uh, I've done some where I played the innocent, and I've played some where I, I played the domin domineering one. Mm -hmm. Which one did you enjoy more? Which role? I think being the domineering one was more fun. We did it to this guy, and it was a lot of fun. We chained him up. What else? <laughs> Whipped him, you know, yeah. and, and spanked him and, and made him do certain things. Did you do uh, lesbian scenes also? Yes, I did. And how would you feel about that? Uh, I like some of the girls that I work with <laughs> more than others. Well, that's only natural, as one likes certain people in life better than other people. Yeah. Um, I read or I heard that you did an anima scene. Right, in Pretty Peaches for Alex Terenzi. And that wasn't so bad because I'd been doing anima scenes for about a year with my boyfriend at that time. And for health reasons, high colonics. And so I was really into enemas at that time, so it was fun. For health reasons, and not se doing an enema, having an enema for you is not something sexual? No, it's not sexy to me at all. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of my fans like that scene and are, they enjoy that, mm -hmm. and I, that gets me off. Oh, it made you happy that it turned them on, but it didn't? Yeah. yeah, it wasn't necessarily sexual to me. It was fun. It was a lot of fun, and I thought it was a funny scene because when I had the enema, I knocked this doctor down with it, you know, he had on his goggles and everything. It was a lot of fun. Well, I just saw you today performing at the Melody Burlesque. Um, how is performing, you know, stripping different for you than doing sex films? Because you're on a stage and you never have physical contact with anyone. I, I never leave the stage. And so there's an isolation and, and a security there that I don't feel with films. Where films, they really get inside you. And Do you feel guilty or upset about anything that you've done? I, I did have a lot of guilt, and I went to see a doctor, and now I'm kind of past that. I don't feel guilty about it anymore. So, if you did feel all that guilt, how were you able to get into it in the first place? Um, I don't know. I guess I was curious, too. Mm -hmm. Very curious. And, and I've, I like experimentation. Mm -hmm. Did you get off on the idea of seeing yourself blown up huge in a oh, movie? yeah. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Seeing yourself seeing a reflection of yourself, a twin or a mirror image, it's nice. It's ego gratifying? Yeah, it's fun, a turn on. Uh -huh. um, is there anything in this latest film that you're particularly happy with? 
Uh, I like the people that were in it generally. A lot of fun to work with, and the people that, that made the film were very professional. So it was, it was enjoyable from that point of view. Have you ever had to have sex in a film with somebody that you absolutely did not want to have sex with where it was really a problem? No, never. Except Johnny Holmes, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Gee, I can't figure out what the problem could have been. Uh, Hide the salami. <laughs> well, Jeff, you're Desiree's husband, and you've been married for how long? Oh, about two years now. So you've been married throughout most of her career? Mm -hmm, that's correct. How has this affected your own sex life? Oh, I get off on it. I really enjoy watching her. <laughs> and how does the fact that she's retiring for a while affect you? Oh, we have a good sex life. Uh, she doesn't need to do it anymore. <laughs> and, but what do you plan to do now? I plan to raise Durban Pinchers. We have a male stud right now, a really good one. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're thinking seriously about getting a female and starting to breed. For me, that's what I want to do. Jeff has his own business that he does. Mm -hmm. I hope you're going to do this in a large place, uh, place outside the city. Yeah, yeah, we live in the valley, not really directly in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So. I see. Okay, I'd like to thank both of you for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it was, it was really nice meeting both of you.